let me tell you story of an young bubbling boy who had dream of becoming a pilot whenever a sound of plane he hears he would come out of the house run and see the sky flying plane one day he goes to the grandparents house during his summer vacation there is a is maternal uncle a person with hemophilia having severe headache lying on a bed he was taken to the hospital there maternal uncle pleads the doctor give me 2 to 3 units of blood i have hemophilia i am sensing bleed in my brain i will be all right with this frustrated doctor angrily asks him whether you are doctor or i am doctor he presses on his face and presumes it is a sinusitis prescribes some antibiotics and painkillers and send him out his maternal uncle goes to a park just in front of that hospital there on a bench with excruciating pain he tells the boy that these doctors doesn't know about hemophilia you must become a doctor and do something for the cause his mama goes back home after a week the whole family has to witness death of his mama inch by inch with helplessness with tears in his eyes the boy remembers the words you must become a doctor he determined to become a doctor instead of a pilot dear friends is none other than me dr suresh anagawadi <laughs> what is this hemophilia hemophilia is genetic bleeding disorder due to deficiency of certain clotting proteins in the blood there are 13 clotting proteins in our blood which act in a cascade and form a firm clot if any one clotting protein is missed in the blood cascade will not continue and blood clot will never form hence the manifestation of hemophilia is prolonged bleeding on a trivial trauma external as well as internal they can bleed in any part of the body if they bleed in vital organs like brain abdomen it becomes fatal if treatment is not given immediately i have factor 9 deficiency and i determined to become a doctor just to take care of my blood brothers being a hemophilic we suffer physically but i have seen my mother suffering psychologically because hemophilia is x linked disorder it affects males predominantly females are carriers but not all females in the family need not be carriers my mother whenever i had a bleed in my joints and muscles used to apply ice packs and give painkillers and spend sleepless nights with me as there is no treatment at all in those days 
that's why my mother used to curse a dog curse a god telling that why you have given hemophilia to my son why you didn't give me directly this happens in all the families of hemophilia because women are highly victimized in the family of hemophilia Hemo hemophilia becomes a social issue they get guilt for having transmitted the defective gene without suffering with it but seeing their children suffering how painful it is for mothers i am also fortunate to have my life partner meera hanagawadi when i revealed that i have hemophilia she readily accepted whole heartedly accepted me and in fact she studied later psychology just wanted to involve in providing psychosocial support to the family i am very fortunate to get her <laughs> this is what happens in hemophilia hemophilia yes when we started there was nothing 35 years back and i am very happy and proud to share with you the first stipend i got from during intern in internship spent for registering karnataka hemophilia society in 1890 and and the support of my medical students like minded people and philanthropists and celebrities brought the confidence in transforming i into we and it is a great great contribution very happy to remember dr s p balasubramanian in the 21 years of his journey with the hemophilia society we could mobilize substantial amount of funds to set up a care center in davangere and in his words to say i am not a doctor but i have doctorate in singing music please give me an opportunity to sing for this cause this is how it started in 99 and he was there with us till his last year of his life and we are very fortunate and we are very thankful to him and here i would like to remember shrimati kirwadi girjamma a philanthropic woman who realized the hardship of hemophilics she encouraged us to set up a permanent shelter for hemophilia families and she donated the cost of land which is sanctioned by duda davangere yes we have done all these things but ultimately we realize the role of government involvement in hemophilia care with consistent constant and concert advocacy with the government we are successful in making these expensive medicines available in all the district hospitals in karnataka state yes hemophilia has given lot of pain to me lot of suffering to me and most of the time without treatment many of our children by the time they enter into the adolescence they become disabled and we want to disability in hemophilia is preventable that is possible only whenever he bleeds we have to replace the missing clotting protein at every instance of blood 
bleeding but it is very expensive beyond the reach of common man and our vision is hemophilia without disability children free of pain and we have affiliated our organization to hemophilia federation india and we have been working day and night to achieve this vision hemophilia as i told you has given pain but i never regretted any time in my life because it has given me lot of opportunities opportunity to become doctor and serve my blood brothers opportunity to involve in the development of the organization opportunity to experiment in the life learn and do the best services possible in this world for the human service i am really thankful to this institute tedx for this opportunity and especially the disorder which doesn't have a awareness this platform has helped me to sensitize you all i thank you all